Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll be talking about why cats often like to relax and sleep on your chest, a situation where your lab, well, it just won't do. <laughs> it's just not quite good enough. Before we take a closer look at this curious cat behavior, let's first explore today's topic overview. Cats sleep on their owner's chest. When seeking warmth and comfort, they're also attracted to the smell of their owner's which are emitted by unique pheromones through sweat. Cats sleep on a chest to transfer their own pheromones to claim ownership of a human. Claiming ownership of a human. Well, that sounds like a horror movie waiting to happen. <laughs> like something from the 60s, perhaps. Invasion of the Body Snatchers or something, something along those lines. At any rate, while many feline habits and behaviors can be quite complex and a bit mysterious, this one is a bit more predictable from an essential needs and a feline tendencies standpoint. Felines love affection, attention, warmth, comfort, and the ability to stake claim to territory. With the human body, more specifically, sleeping on your chest, they're able to check off many desired boxes all at the same time. Before we get started here today, a quick shout out to each and every one of you, the best viewers on the feline wing of the internet. Thanks for turning into Senior Cat Wellness. We greatly appreciate your support and your time. You could be just about anywhere, yet you've taken a brief moment out of your busy day to join us, and for that we are truly grateful. Whether this is your first video or you're over 100 deep, you are family here. Welcome, and once again, we thank you so very much. We hope to see you down the road in future content. Now, let's talk about cats and why they often choose your chest <laughs> as that prime sleep real estate. We are jumping right out of the gate like a horse in the Kentucky Derby. No delays this time. <laughs> Here we go. Why do cats sleep on your chest? Number one, rhythmic heartbeat and your breath. Yeah, theories have long existed that point to the notion that cats enjoy the sound of your heartbeat and the breath you take. How about that? Your breath. <laughs> the cats are complimenting your breath. It's comforting, sort of like falling asleep to the TV or the radio. It's familiar, like rain on the roof. Next up, comforting smells. You smell like a good owner should. Is that a commercial or not? <laughs> so much of a cat's decisions, especially when deciding friend or foe, is smell. You are familiar. Sleep time is a special time, a relaxing time. And if your cat can fall asleep to your comforting smell, then your pet feels safe and secure. Good for those solid and much needed Zs. Next, we have territory. You have been claimed just like we noted a little bit earlier. <laughs> you've been targeted, you've been claimed. By resting on your chest, your cat has claimed you. And this is very important, especially if your cat is trying to establish its place against other pets within your home, primarily other cats. This can send a message to the other animals under your roof. Next up, warmth. 98.6 degrees of warmth. That's what you have to offer, and that's what your cat enjoys. This is yet another layer of comfort and security. Not only are you warm, you're a warmth that your cat knows and your cat trusts, and this can go a very, very long way. Next, we have comfort. Your cat will also seek out your chest as a resting spot because, hey, it's comfortable. It certainly beats many other <laughs> alternatives. And next, we have protection and safety. And while we've noted the safety and security aspect in most every reason, protection and safety is worthy of its very own section. Why? Well, this is essentially the root of it all with comfort, warmth, smells, heartbeat, and the rest, serving as somewhat extensions from the core. This is the core, because without that true sense of protection and safety, your cat probably wouldn't engage in this behavior at all. And next we have affection, good old affection. Your cat wants your affection, and your pet wants to display affection to you. This is simply an extension of that all-important trust and security. And finally, memories of kittenhood. Did your cat engage in this behavior many, many years ago? Was it something that you did as a way to provide your cat security? If your cat remembers the old days, well, then uh, while the other reasons that we've talked about are still very much in play, memory from the past can also ring true. We all have our habits. You know, why do you do X, Y, and Z every Saturday afternoon? Oh, no. <laughs> it's just what you do, right? Whatever it is. Family traditions, rituals, what have you. If your cat has been resting on your chest for years, and it all began within the first weeks and first months of life. Hey, it's just what we do. 
What about the kneading aspect? Yep, paws up, paws down, paws up, paws down. <laughs> Making the biscuits is what it's called, yeah. Uh, is that the same as sleeping in terms of the core reasons? In many ways, the answer is yes. Cats will often need in this way to scent mark. This is here again, another form of that claiming of territory. You belong to me. What about this one? Making a nest. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, while your cat uh, uh, can't really make a nest out of your chest, that just won't work. But it's all based on instincts. Making things a bit soft, sort of like a spot for comfort. Think of it as a little sleeping ditch. <laughs> Here again, it won't work, but yeah, your cat can try. And the final reason for kneading that we'll discuss today, going into heat, run. <laughs> run away, run away. Female cats will often knead in an effort to alert the males. Uh-oh. Loud meows, mood swings, loss of appetite, grooming, and more than usual, and an inability to settle down and a desperate need to go outside. Hmm. Yeah, along with those signs, kneading is also on the list. In the big picture, both sleeping and kneading are signs of a deep trust. That's really what it boils down to. Cats do not engage in this effort unless they view you as an ally. Everything we've talked about today can be placed in the positive basket. While having your cat sleep on your chest might not be your cup of tea, in the grand scheme of things, that means you are winning as an owner. So whatever you're doing, just keep on keeping on. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like more information concerning this topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. Are you currently watching us offside? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.